Glamour Girls. So today I'm doing a special tutorial just for you girls. I have no makeup on, all natural here girls. I've got a couple of situations going on the face here. I may be older, but I still get them. It's like I'm going through puberty all over again. <laughs> so I've got a request to do a tutorial, show you guys kind of how to do a makeup look that will show you basically how to enhance your natural beauty. So let's get started. I'm going to use my palette from the Color Institute and I'm kind of going to stay within these soft pinks right in here. This, they're actually pretty pale. This is going to be our highlighting color. This is going to be for the lower part of the lid. And this is going to be a crease color. Now you don't have to use these exact colors or this palette. You can use any drugstore brand, any colors. You don't need three, four, five different colors. You could even do this same look with just the two colors. So let's get started. Grab a concealer, you can use a foundation or any creamy product, and this will give you some staying power. So in my case, I am going to use a concealer that I have from Mary Kay, and this is in beige. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lower part of the lid. So it's basically from here down to the lash line. And you don't need a lot. You don't even need a special brush. Just a finger, girls. Nature's tool. <laughs> Get a pressed powder or a loose powder. Any powder is fine that closely matches your skin tone. In my case, I'm using a Revlon powder in medium by Revlon color color state press powder in medium check that out and I'm just going to grab a regular powder brush you could use the the applicator I forget what they're called it just slips my mind but you can use the little I think it's a powder puff that comes with it and just apply it on you don't need a powder brush if you can't get one but I happen to have one so I use it and you don't need a lot of product just very lightly apply a little bit of powder and that will help to set the foundation or the concealer or any product that you use if you don't have any eye primers put that to the side and then you're going to grab any eyeshadow brush that you have. I'm going to use this smudger brush, this size. And it's just a regular uh, eyeshadow brush, smudger brush. Or you could use an applicator, a foam applicator, that's fine as well. And we're going to use today this color right there. And we're going to apply that onto the lower part of the lid. And remember, this is not an intense look. This is gonna be very soft, very delicate look. If you are using a brush like this, remember it helps to pack on the color. So you don't wanna pick up too much on your brush. Then you want to take a fluffy brush. I have this one, a nice soft one. This is really nice and soft. Or you can also use a foam applicator, like I said, that's fine. And we're going to take that darker one. And remember, soft application, not intense. And you're just going to dab right in, just like that. Very, very small amount. See, you can barely tell that there's any on the brush itself. And then you're going to see right there, if you go like that, you see that little shadow that's created in there? When you go like that, 
that's where you want to apply that darker color very lightly touch it in and then sweep it in just like that and if you need any more just apply some more but you don't want to grab so much where you need to remove the product or even start over And then with the same exact brush, you don't need another one, go to the soft pink that we showed you earlier, tap right in, and then apply that right into this area of your brow bone. And this is going to soften that color right there in the crease and give you a nice little highlight. Now these are all very shimmery shadows. So be mindful again, very light application. The more you put on, the shiner you're gonna look. Now you wanna leave your brows nice and natural. Mine are very sparse. If you have sparse eyebrows, you're more than welcome to fill them in with an eyebrow pencil. So I have this one by Wet n Wild and Charcoal and just fill them in lightly just so you can complete the look. See that? What a big difference. Eyebrows are done. Then go ahead and grab a mascara. I'm going to use Maybelline New York's Lash Stiletto. You can use any mascara that suits you. I am going to use this one. Um, it's actually in very black. They do sell uh, mascaras that are actually clear. They're more like a gel. So they can just provide some definition um, to your lashes. If you have really long eyelashes, those are great. For girls that have really long eyelashes um, but in my case this is what I have so this is what I'll use and just apply it as you find necessary if you like to double coat it that's fine but remember that this is a natural and soft look more appropriate for daytime or even for school if you're allowed to wear makeup for school you could even use a look like this for going out to dinner you know any holidays or events that you may have with friends or family that's also fine can you see the difference there And then we're going to move on to the rest of the face. I am going to use a blush in that palette. I'm just going to open it up and show you. It's a rosy blush. It's right underneath the shadow. It's right here. You could use a small, this small one right here or anything in that shade or a darker one. You don't need to apply foundation everywhere or any concealer because the more product you apply on your face, the more you're gonna look made up. And remember, you want to let your natural beauty shine through. So grab your blush brush, just dab it right in a couple times. See, not a lot of product, very small amount. And just right here, smile, find the apple, and just apply it right there. And then work it in. Now you want to make sure that when you apply the blush, you don't want to just stick to a circle right there or else you'll look like Santa's helper. <laughs> you want to make sure that you do the circular motion, but then you start working it back a little bit and then towards the front. So you are working in this whole cheek, cheekbone and the hollow, but the concentration will be on the apple of your cheek. <laughs> And this will give you 
not just a very radiant look, but you will look very healthy, like you just came from outside on a fresh or cold winter day, and you will look just flushed, beautiful, glowing. And you won't look overdone either. You see that? You even want to bring it up into the hairline a tiny bit without adding more blush onto your brush. Just work what you have on your cheek already right into your hairline. Perfect. Now, I am going to use, in this case, a lip brush because on the palette there are glosses and lip stains. I don't know if they're stains or glosses. I've not given them a try before. But there is quite the selection on here on both sides. So I'm just going to be a little sanitary and use a lip brush. Nothing fancy, really, just a regular lip brush. And I'm going to use something a little on the soft side. So I'm going to use this one on the corner down here. And I'm not going to define my lips or anything. I'm just going to give them a healthy glow. So first, I'm actually going to grab my chapstick from Nivea. Can you guys see that? It's just a chapstick with a little bit of SPF. Make sure my lips are moisturized. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply my color right on top. Not a very intense color. See that? But if the light catches it just right, you could definitely see it. And there is the completed look. Very soft, very natural. I hope you guys like it. Remember my young glamour girls, let your natural beauty shine through. You do not need a lot of product to let the glamourness <laughs> come through the makeup. Always remember to drink plenty of water. Keep your skin exfoliated. Uh, moisturized. Uh, if you're experiencing troubles with your puberty, you can definitely look into products that cater to your skin's needs. If you have oily skin, choose products that uh, cater to your oily skin. If you have dry skin, then go ahead and choose your products for dry skin. Or if you have combination skin or sensitive skin, then choose products for those skin types as well. Uh, remember also that aside from using uh, moisturizers and cleansers for that skin type, there are also um, cosmetics that are made for skin types of that nature as well. So good luck shopping for your products. I hope that this tutorial can bring some insight uh, to the types of products and the way that you can apply it. As you saw earlier, I did nothing with the rest of my face uh, for a uh, major product application was really on the eyes and it was very subtle. And if anything, you have any questions or comments, check the comment section and leave them in there, girls. Check the drop down bar for more info. Uh, let your parents know what you saw here today and get their feedback. Have them check the video out and have them check the drop down bar. Have them come on here and let them Leave their comments here as well. I'm open to any suggestions. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.